Hey everybody, let's uh, play some more Squally here. It's been a little while. I've been spending the last couple of days, uh, well, couldn't really get back to Squally for part of the time. Uh, but also, you know, I was um, messing around, as I said before, I was going to work on uh, doing a, a trainer here rather than having to search up these variables every time. Uh, so I've been tracing pointer paths. I got Squally's health here, um, so that one's good to go. I'm working on the mana and Guano's health. They're going to be a little bit more elusive, but I'm sure we'll get it eventually. But I'm not going to wait for that to get done. Uh, I got Squally's health, and that's really what I was mostly worried about. And so we are ready to continue. Where does this go? I'm afraid to, I'm afraid to check. Uh, back out. Uh, oh, Guano is injured. Um, hmm. Okay, let's actually use some mana here. Oops, since I'm doing that, I might as well scan for that address as well. And he's doing this thing. Oh, yeah, the reflect. Uh, and then I'll scan for the increased value compared to the first scan. And I've noticed that uh, the address for mana is usually uh, not the first value with that amount, but usually the third from the bottom. Not this time. Um, okay. Oh, those are all flutes. It has not been this hard to find. There it is. Okay. So I don't have the, the pointer path for that, but uh, it's okay. Here I've been complaining regularly as I've been playing this that the action economy is such that uh, we really very rarely get to take a turn. Well, as it turns out, I just haven't really been making very good use of um, my spells. Uh, oh, that's right, we also have this undying thing. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, so, so, so I was going to say, was about to bite it. That's fine. Back up. I should probably put a hot key on that. I think I'll do that right now. Key for health, and how about numeric nine? We'll set the value to two. Okay. So now, if I do that, you hear that noise? That's the activated um, heal cheat.
there's absolutely no reason for me to not just continue to do my most damaging. Oh, that's right, I have a new spell I wanted to try too. The lightning spell. I have a chance to use that. Do that. Strike some enemy lightning dealing heavy damage. Sounds good. Let's see what happens. It told me to use my abilities, but apparently it wasn't necessary. Turn and heal up. Oh, um, I'm gonna deal with water up before I do this. Texas thing. Alright, let's play some Texas. It's been a whole couple of days, boy. I missed it. Alright, what do I got? Choose a card, steal from your opponent. Choose one of your opponent's cards to destroy, and then we have a roller perform a right circular shift of the bits of the target card. Movie. Let's see, I got 16, he's got 43, he's worth 5, 6, uh, 7, 8, 9. I'm sure we're going to want to steal the 9 and destroy the 8. Let's try that. Alright, and uh, let's see, perform a right circular shift. It's in the target. I don't know if I'm not sure that I'm looking at here. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Understood, understood. Okay. Um, so then we definitely don't want to do that to these guys. Um, that, that guy, that guy. We want somebody to come. Oh, shit. Okay, I didn't want to destroy this. Oh, no, I didn't want to destroy this. Because that would have been a real good one to, to zap here. That one would have been ideal. And I don't think I can win because I was just going to increase the value of all these cards, so we're going to have to do this again. Yes, yes. Alright, so we want to steal that. We want to ignore that. We want to destroy that. Thank you. Smash your pot. Okay, okay. These are just for show, apparently. Okay, looks pretty serious. Oh, there's a uh, squirrel. All right, a squirrel, chipmunk. This one. Okay. Yep. I don't remember if I fought these guys again or not. Casting some kind of spell. Oh, Guano did not fully heal from that. Uh, I'm going to do a scan for Guano's health then because I just prefer to not have a guy. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is this that same spell that I do? Yeah, it's one of those. So he's going to cast that in the last, but that's that's one of those. Oh, this is a different thing. What is this? The fog of war. Shift left shifts the bits of a number to the left. Shifting left by one is the same as multiplying by two. In other words, this code doubles the damage all enemies inflict. Hint, a shift right operation can be used to divide the damage instead. Okay, EDX is the damage being dealt by an enemy. Okay. Well, uh, if we shift right by one, we divide by two, but if we shift right. Let's try one on attack. That's not that much damage. Inversion. Oh, right, right. And we already did this. We changed the neg to. Uh, and that seemed to just. 
I'm going to do a uh, execute and see how much damage that does. Because that was only like 19 damage for the lightning. It doesn't seem like it's really that high. Well, it's, I guess, roughly the same. No, my values are gone. Apparently, when we entered combat, changed screens, uh, the addresses to the mana changed. That's peculiar. Um, then I suppose I have no recourse but to uh, straight attack on this one. All right, see now now the pointers are back. I, that was weird. That's the first time, like, my pointer for Molly's health, I, when I found the base pointer for that, that seems to have been very reliable. I had issue with that until now. The fact that the mana address also changed, which now it's back, you can see, uh, is very unusual. How much health does one or one ten? Are. I also don't know what I'm doing. Light the blue torches to open the door to the church. Where does this go then? Oh, his health is. He's not full. So you can see what we're doing. Not that you haven't seen me do this a thousand times already. It's possible that this isn't a, uh, you know, these values that I'm looking at here aren't. It's also sort of not dynamic. Like, if I change it here, we will not see it. So let's uh, wait until we're in the battle to try those out again. Oh, wait. What is this way? Nothing now. I can't do it that way. Oh, there's a thing. There's a bunch of stuff down here I didn't see before. So over here, those things. Oh, a friend. Oh, man, I can't get over there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I take it that this is where you go when you fall. And this is not, in fact, the way I'm supposed to go. This is just a place where you go. Uh, okay, that guy, I remember when I fell the first time. Can't go anywhere else. So I guess I'll go back there and flip that switch, because that seems to be the thing I'm doing. So 
Molly! Hey, you got a better weapon for spawning. I think the next one just started looking for cheating crafting materials here. Um, my mana pointer changed again. Health pointer didn't. My the address from oh, sorry, no, he's the wrong Roman creature. I apologize. I don't want to confuse anybody or anything, but uh, it's very confusing. You know what? I feel like I could do better probably than just to shift right on this one. Um, but I think we... Uh, let's see. Right, let's do a mull on EDX times zero. No? Wait, is my syntax wrong on that? Yeah, well, it doesn't need this shit. Oh, it does. Why? I'll look that up later, I guess. Not sure why the sign version is different than the inside, but that's just me. Excuse me. Oops. Gotta wait for him to do the thing before we do that thing. So I didn't zero out his health. Oh boy, Squally. With the heavy hit. Damn. Finish him off, Mono. Come on. Big swing. Close, close. I got him for you. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, so that made the bridge up there. Okay. And then so now I can come back here, and then I can go down that way. Or wherever that goes. Jump. Nice. Yay! Um, mouse. Iron. I guess we can fly back up here then. Okay. That's where I came in. That's the dude. I made the bridge over there on the other side. I can go back that way. Right. Almost fell. Oh, it didn't make a bridge to where I thought it did. Um, I guess we're swimming, eh? I could get rid of this. Well, let's try. No, oh, there's no getting on that. Okay. Um, I don't think we ran out the juice to make it this far. Oops. You're back. Or is that, that's a different guy. Oh. I have to beat several of them to increase the height of the bridge. Okie dokie. Like, this is a different guy. It's not the same thing. No, because the, the lever's in a different spot. Okay. Um... Let's 
It's really, you know, just kind of feeling out to see what it does what. Again, I look to actually cast it. Execute. Good on the squally. Oh, that's true. I suppose I should be doing um, all the squally's health like here, huh? Or Guano's health. Uh, I got 133 results. It's currently at 8. Where's the 8? Oops. I should have done that, but that's fine. Uh, it's going to be a 4 red value. I don't know why I filtered it down to. Uh, uh, let's change it. I can't not do it, everybody. I can't not. I have to. Now, this health has increased. Excuse me. I'm oh, just going So uh, now this level is in front of me. Oops. All right, let's see. Now that should be it, right? Let's see, let's see. Okay. And is the torch I'm supposed to light? There's one on the other side. Okay. <clears throat> Apparently, you have to go all the way around. <clears throat> I'm sure the other side will be just as easy as this one, right? And only take half as long. Swally! Let's do it. All right, got to move. Got an ad. Got an R or R performing left circular shift. Time so that way, and then goes around that way. The opposite of the R or R. So, um, yeah, I'd 
do we want probably with a one position. Uh, that one obviously won't do us any good. Um, that one obviously won't do us any good. That one won't do us any good. Um, we can overflow it though if we can add. Um, but, oh, I can't, uh, I, I have to do my own. So if I add that, we'll do five, which will be zero, one, zero, one. And then I can transpose it with this to make it one, zero, one, zero. And then I can do a move to double that. It's not enough. Uh, I mean, that, that worked. It did do what I thought it was going to do, but it wasn't enough to overcome that. Uh, uh, I can't move on. This card, let me add on my cards as well. Um, yeah, I don't. I can play it on his cards, but then it would be stupid. I want to do that. Why don't I turn this three into a five? Wait, is that a five? It's a one, two, three. the RL first, then this becomes six. We can do eight, and then I believe that that's sixteen is still not enough. I, oh I can do the move first to decrease some of his scores. I do uh, move and turn one of these into two. I do the add of one. The name. Um, yeah, let's see. I'm trying to play it out in my head. I don't know if it's what I actually do here. No, it's still not enough. I, I try to play it out in my head to see if, you know, it will work out, so I don't end up looking stupid, but, um, but I am, so it's really hard to avoid that, to be honest. Um, and that got him down to two months. That won't cause an overflow if I roll on this. It'll, it'll stay the same. Um, I could do an add that would overflow. Oh, wait, I can't add his cards. That's right. I only add mine. Um, Okay, um, what if I... What if I do an add to overflow that? Then I do a move on that, and then I roll that. There we go. Oh boy, that was actually really hard for me to figure out. That, that, took, some, that took some thought. Pretty impressed with that one.
Here. See, uh, how can he be healed? I checked just a moment ago, and his health was 24, 24. He hasn't taken that much damage this round. I'm pretty sure. Still have 1,000. Still have 1,400 results. Damn. Squally. Oh. Okay, least again compared to last. All right, twenty six. Six health right now. There's a six right there. No. Okay. It's usually much easier than this. Okay. So let's just keep going. I, I don't know what's up. Finding pointer paths is usually not that difficult with cheat engine. Normally what you do is you find your value. Like I did with Squally's health. Which, um, so you find your value. Like we've been doing searching, and unless you have it, you can just right click, uh, pointer scan for this address, then you, you know, dump your paths, uh, restart the game, find again via manually searching that uh, variable again, uh, and then take the address the second time you run the game, and filter your first pointer scan with that address, and chances are your base path, your base pointer, your base address is going to be right there, you know, and it's just a matter of finding the right one. But if you're lucky, you only have a handful of choices anyway, so you just continually shut down and restart the game, and it makes it pretty apparent which one it is. Now, that's more or less what the process was for Squally's health. I think I had to do a pointer scan that was eight offsets deep in order to get it, but mana and Guano's health are proven to be uh, more difficult, and for some reason, as it seems, I am having no difficulty even just finding the address manually here. Um, although I've done it several times now, so I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Game Squally. Finish him off. I'm use your abilities. You keep telling me to do that, but I don't know why. Level up. Oh. Leveling up does kill you. Okay, my well, potion is something bad. Oh, one of you. Oh, holy. What the? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> it just, I'm sure it looks worse than it is, because uh, we've got a bunch of flips here. Yeah, flip 2, flip 3, flip 4, um, which I'm sure will be very useful for... I, 
that's my flip three row, and this is my flip two row. That's my flip four row. Nope, not enough. I probably need to do some of those on mine to increase my values. Okay, so flip three would be very useful for this one. Flip two would be useful for this one. Okay, I see. It's supposed to be used on mine. No, it's still not enough. I gotta use some on his and some on mine. Alright, well, let's do this here. Alright, so if I flip uh, four on these, that's my. That's a good play. With this, this one here, I'm actually increasing the value to four of his cards. So, I'll do this one. Pretty sure the flip three over here is fairly disastrous for him. And then if I do a flip two here, um, these are right now 13, that would give me, uh, give me uh, 15, so it would be 30 here instead of 26, that's four extra points that gives me 86, that's not enough. Um, Six is not enough. There we go. Eighty one. All right, so it's two of them on me and one on. That was a pretty good one too. This one on the other side. We finally do everything all the things I came to do. I don't know, remember. I am also going to do some videos on the hacking tutorials from Squally. Uh, I already ran through them um, just playing around when I first started the game. Um, but uh, I'll do them again and record them because there's a lot of questions. Alright. Now, while well, myself has increased the last it is now 24, so 14,000 left to go. Let me try an exact value match. These are pretty buggy in this version, even though I'm doing them wrong. That's better. Let's do an unchanging value. Okay, that's pretty good. We can probably work with that. Um. Take half of these, change value, and those. These really. I'm going to hold on to those until we start a battle because I am convinced that this is not like it will not reflect the curve. It's whatever the value was when I first opened the menu. Is my suspicion. Probably wrong, but that's my suspicion. Excuse me. Keep... Alright, dude. All your stupid torches. Anything to say to me? Nope. Okay, bye. Uh, I'm not sure I appreciate the mix of Egyptian and Aztec and Mayan imagery. Oh. Ooh. That's a pretty cool new character. Um, man has been wiped out, so I'm going to do a... Not C. C? Juano said uh, it was at 24, said he was at full health. No wonder it's not up here. Um, let's do that first. Don't first. Scan. Make 
sure that it does by casting these. Seeing. Okay, meeting one address is we are at 18. There's a 14. That's not it. That's it. Alright, let's do a team of the Wamans with really pretty neat ninja. Um, uh, nah, 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 nah. Okay. Mana dream. Oh, we already did this one. Air mana to 13 if mana is less than or equal to 13. Load up the drain amount of DBSI. Uh, yep, we already did this one. I think we have a set to increase mana as we, uh, we make it so we uh, invert the number before it moves to DBSI. Attack. So we did fix that illusion. Alright. Oops. Save mana refresh. <clears throat> and then put on the top has decreased compared to the first game. It's at nine. Wano, so elusive with your health. There you are. All right. Now we're ready. I should probably set that to so he doesn't die. Oh, damn, I did it again. I'm just going to set that to an 8 by going. That we don't want. We'll probably be attacking the minions since one of them has um, inversion and the other one has a reflect on, but I didn't. So. There, I guess. Oh, right, I keep forgetting to do that. Beef it up. Uh, let's zap the dude and probably take him out. Yeah, guys, reflection wore off, so. Did not tell me to zap him. Oh, I must have got hit. Go. Just instantly disintegrates. That's what I like to see. Is all this guy does manage rain? Because that's incredibly convenient, I have to be honest. Again. 
still. And all he does is manage ran. That makes this really easy. Ah. Uh, come on, I'll finish this turret off. Oh, right. He's still got this stupid thing, too. Lightning strike! Come on. Is how we use your abilities. I didn't have to use any of them. What are you talking about? Diana and my health is still stuck. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Enter the mines. Okay, I did all this to get to a mine. Say, that seems uh, like a lot of trouble for a mine tour. Oh, they cleanse the evil from this great pyramid. Okay, take the spell book. It will teach you how to control the light and even resurrect the dead. Okay, well, that might be useful. Behind me is the entrance to the data mines. You may pass through, but be cautious. Oh, you have something I can steal. Let's see if it's working now. It was bugged before. Nope, still bugged. A data bite. Oh, uh, that's going to be... Sorry. That's going to be it for this part. The next part, we will go and uh, delve deep into the data mines.